Hi, welcome to my channel Pack Explains Physics. Now we have uh, questions on projectile motions from UPS 2009-2010 question 2b part 2. Okay, let us read the question together. A ball is thrown upwards uh, with an initial velocity 10 meter per second. Okay, 60 degree. Uh, which is uh, this ball okay, thrown upwards uh, at an angle of 60 degree okay, uh, at 10 meter per second uh, with uh, 60 degree with respect to the horizontal at the same instant a stone uh, this stone at certain distance from the ball is thrown vertically upward uh, this stone now is thrown upward okay uh, with an initial velocity u as shown in the figure 2. Now, calculate u so that both objects uh, will collide at p. Uh, okay, the ball and the stone will collide, bang together at p. Okay, so how to do these questions? Uh, so first of all, we have uh, initial velocity for the ball, 10 meter per second, and also... Um, we want to find uh, the velo initial velocity of the stone. Okay, they collide together at p. Uh, so what information can we write from here? So, okay. So for the ball, the ball is a projectile motion. Okay, as you see here, the ball is a got angle sixty degree. So uh, it is launched at at projectile motion. Uh, but the stone is only a free fall motion. Uh, okay, uh, the ball projectile motion means it has uh, two components. It has uh, x and y component. Uh, but the stone is only free fall. So it, for the stone is only a y component. Okay. Uh, so uh, since these two we can relate to each other. Um, uh, both has a y component on both has y component uh, so we we only look at the y component okay so given the initial velocity for the ball is 10 meter per second at angle 60 degree so the y component of the initial velocity the y component of the initial velocity is 10 sine 60 okay 10 sine 60 uh, but for the stone uh, the initial velocity is u okay uh, u is totally in the y component and another thing is this y component both of them are free fall okay uh, both of them are free fall motion so they experience the same gravitational acceleration so a b y is negative g uh, acceleration for stone also negative g okay attracted downward and then uh, they have this uh, when they collide they happen at the same time happen at the same time and then uh, uh, when they collide the the y displacement is the same sby and uh, ss is the same okay uh, so uh, this is the most important concept here when they collide they have the same vertical displacement okay so we work from here so uh, since okay we, we, we must one thing we must make sure we know that uh, both has uh, y displacement uh, okay uh, that means both undergoes free fall motion uh, the ball although is going up okay uh, projectile motion uh, the y component actually is also the same free fall uh, okay uh, same like the stone also free fall motion understand so um, so they have the same we can say they have the same as uh, y they have the same when they bang each other they reach the point p they have the same as y okay they have the same as y now uh, sby equal to ss so uh, we, here we can apply the formula what, what, what formula can we apply here uh, both of them we can apply SWAT uh, we can apply formula SWAT this one also SWAT uh, 
Uh, so just use the formula SWOT. Okay, uh, let's use let us use the formula SWOT. S equal to U T plus half A T square. Uh, same to yeah, we work from here. Understand? We work from here. Both vertical displacement is the same. Uh, S equal to U T plus half A T square. So this one also U T plus half A T square. Okay. Uh, here this one is for the uh, B yeah? for the ball well, in Y component and this one is for the stone alright for the stone so let us uh, substitute all the other information we have UBY 10 sin 60 we can put here right 10 sin 60 uh, ok uh, times T and then a a b y is a uh, negative g. So we substitute negative g. We will get negative half g t square. Ah, uh, okay. And then for u s u s is u. Uh, so just maintain as u. Uh, this is uh, the u u s. Okay, u s t. And then this one is also the same uh, half gt square negative half gt square because as is negative g so substitute inside we have negative half gt square okay uh, so now we can cut uh, the similar uh, this one and this one can be cut off okay uh, and then divide by t so t also uh, disappear so the final answer is the US is equal to 10 sin 60. Uh, 10 sin 60 will give us 8.66 meter per second. Okay, which is equal to U. Uh, so we got the US. Understand? Uh, the initial velocity for the for the stone. Uh, okay, so just that easy, yeah. So I hope you understand the concept and please subscribe my channel. Okay, thank you very much. See you again. Bye.